Hi5 Vega, back again. This time we're reviewing the Sony XS L12G, better known as the Sony ES, for our 12 inch shootout. Originally released in 1998 with the MSRP of $150, this sub included features such as a cast basket, a nice gold plated bonding post, polycone, and rubber surround, and it was rated at 450 watts. So, I'm going to jump right into the scores, and then after that, I'll give a short demo of a few tracks. That way, you'll be able to see what the subs sound like. We're going to start with Output, where it scored a 6 of 10. Output was good, but not great. The 450 watt rating was optimistic at best. Although, I was running at less power because it was at 4 ohms. It had more power than it could handle, reliably in my opinion. And it was, it was about perfect power. So the sub did great in the upper frequency range, and it did okay in the lower frequency range, but the impact is where I really felt the score dropped off, and that's where it got a 6 out of 10 in my opinion. Now we're on to sound quality, where it scored a 9 of 10. This is the best sounding sub I've had in this test so far, and it integrated almost perfectly with the rest of the system. If it had a weakness at all, it was the impact where I mentioned earlier in the output category. But other than that, it sounded fantastic on every track. Now we're on to the value category where it scored a 9.5 out of 10. With an MSRP of $150, I cannot think of a sub that has features geared more towards me as a consumer. It has excellent build quality, an understated classic look, and a focus on sound quality. People who are more focused on output could certainly find a better value. But in this particular shootout, that's not the whole picture and it's geared towards what I like. Now we're on to the most subjective category, Wow Factor, and it scores a 9 out of 10 here. To me, this is a classic subwoofer in every way. It won't necessarily wow you with output, but it has precision and it has looks. With all that being said, we end up with a final grade of 82.5, or our first B. The only weak part of this sub was really overall output, and if you're using a pair of these, that's not going to be a problem at all, so I highly recommend this sub if you can find one like it, or even one in a similar line. Stick around to the end so you can see what sub's up next, but for right now we're going to get into a few short demos so you can see what it sounds like. As always, I'd like to thank those of you who take the time to watch, like, and comment on all my videos. And I'd like to encourage you to uh, check out my Facebook page at facebook.com slash high5vega where I post my videos at least a day early. Other than that, uh, check out my new podcast with Big D Wiz. It's 12 Volt Talk. And you can find that on YouTube at 12 Volt Talk or iTunes or anywhere else you get podcasts. 12 Volt Talk.